Hello my YouTube friends, this is now Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 2002 Honda Civic and the problem with this car is that it's getting overheated and I just want to make a quick video of what I found and what was happening in this situation was that the fans was not coming on so like the fans wasn't coming on, the car get a certain temperature if the fan doesn't cool the motor and whatever components it needs to warm up the car gets overheated so what I did was see this right here this is one of the fans right here now but before I check these wirings here what I did was I went to the fuse box the fuse box is right here located right next to the battery and what I did was I look for relays or fuses that it may have and what it has is the condenser fan and the cooling fan and I want um I wanted to see if they were blown and what I did was you know I removed them the top one is the condenser fan so I want to check the the fuses to see they blown and the fuses as you're gonna see the fuses are good so this one is the condenser fan so this one was good and then what I did was I went to the cooling fan the cooling fan is the one in the bottom of the condenser and what I did was I removed it first just to see if that was the problem if it was a blown fuse because many times it just could be a flown a blown fuse and this was not blown either so now so every time I turned the car on, the, the fans wasn't coming on. And I'm going to show you what was the reason. You see the fans? And you see this wire right here? This wire right here was all broken and out. So watch what I'm, what's going to happen. When the car, the car's already hot. So the fans supposed to be coming on so I'm gonna turn it on so you see the fans are not coming on both of them but I'm gonna also turn on I'm gonna turn on the AC so once you turn on the AC one of the fans is supposed to come on automatically so this is the AC put it all the way on turn it on first Turn the AC, you can see the green light. So now, when I go over there, one of them is supposed to turn on, and none of them is turned on. So now, let me just show you something. So, like I already checked the fuses, I knew it was not the fuses. So the next thing I decided to do is to start checking the wiring. So I removed the tape from here, all this tape. I removed it. And this blue wire was broken so I'm just gonna put them together and you're gonna see what happens so now I connected the wires together and watch what happens once I connected these these two wires that were broken watch See that? Both fans are on. But well, both fans are supposed to be on. I'm going to turn off the AC. I turned off the AC one. Once I turn off the AC, one of them has to go off. If you didn't know which one was your AC, you just go here where I showed you the fuses before and you're going to go to the condensing fan. You're going to go to the condensing fan and you're going to remove it. Once you remove it, you'll find out which one is your AC fan. And you notice? That one over there, if you notice, 
just turned off. So that's your AC fan right there. That one right there is supposed to be turned off and this one's supposed to be on because this is the cooling fan to warm up the car. And that's how you tell. So now I fixed it. I just fixed the issue of the fan not turning on. Now they both turn on. So now I have to find out why it's both fans turn on at the same time and they stay on once I put that wire together. So what I did was, I really know, I call Tim from Astro Auto Repairs. He's going to send me a wire diagram to see, you know, why is the fans staying on. But for this video, now we know why the car was getting overheated because the fans was not being turned on. And now that I fixed the issue, that the wiring was broken, that I put it together, that the wires are connected. I shouldn't have no overheating problem. But now we have to find out why the fans stay on and they both go on. So once again, this is Non-Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me at nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if Non-Mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.